Hello Virgo, welcome to my channel and thank you for taking the time to watch this video. I would also like to welcome Spirit into this reading and say thank you for the messages we are about to receive. This is a weekly reading for Virgo from the 11th to the 17th of March 2019. Please don't forget to watch your moon and rising sign for a more complete picture. If you like the decks I'm using, I put them in the description box, so have a look. And if you'd like a personal reading, I put my details in the description box, so please go to my website to book a reading. So please like, share, subscribe, leave me some comments if these messages resonate with you. So I'm starting off with the general energy read for you, and then I will do the general tarot read for you afterwards. Okay, so the first card is uh, the tavern, and this is going out, having some fun, meeting friends, so you might be socializing quite a bit at the moment. Um, and um, you've got aiding, so um, you could be getting a, a lot of, you could be collaborating with a lot of people, uh, maybe socializing with them a lot, um, you know, different kinds of people. So, um, you know, it seems like there's some collaboration going on over here, as well as meeting a whole lot of different people. And then you've got flying, so you might be doing a lot of traveling. So this is the reason why you might be meeting a lot of people, because you decided that you're going to do a lot of traveling. This is... Um, you know, uh, taking that risk, taking that leap of faith, doing something you haven't done before. So, you know, uh, Virgo tends to be a very, very, um, a sign that likes to spend a lot of time by themselves. But this is saying that, you know, maybe now you've decided that you've had enough of that and you want to do some traveling or you want to do something brand new. And this is meeting a lot of people and collaborating with a lot of people, maybe on the international front. So in the past, you've got the, the nudity sign over here. And this is, um, you know, seeing things, uh, from a very different perspective, you know, having a different kind of uh, spiritual perspective about things. You might have uh, met somebody as well with this um, um, flirting card. So maybe a new relationship has come in and they've opened your eyes or maybe made you change the way you look at things, uh, uh, seeing things from a very different perspective. And maybe this is why you've ended up socializing quite a bit, uh, meeting a lot more people. So you've got the adolescence card over here. So this person and you are learning a lot of things, communicating with a, you know, a, lot of, um, a lot with each other. This is something brand new. This might be a brand new relationship that has started over here. So this flirting looks like it's going to, if it hasn't already developed into a relationship, looks like it's going to develop into something brand new over here. And this is you worrying about your health. So there might be some kind of health issues coming on uh, that you might need to seek some kind of medical attention. So if you're worried about something, there might be some tests that you need to run or you need to go and get some medical advice as well but it looks like this brand, this relationship might start progressing into something brand new so it starts off with flirting and then progressing into something that is going to grow because this is the ad, uh, the adolescence card whatever this relationship is going to start getting better or it's going to develop uh, slow to develop into something um, deeper and just uh, you know watch out for your health go and get if you are worried about something go and get it checked out so those are the energies for that week. <clears throat> so this is the Navigators of the Mystic Sea Tarot. I have put it in the description box. It's a very beautiful deck. I like it anyway. Uh, it's very colorful. Um, so let's have a look. Okay, so you've got the Sun card over here, and this is about, the card is called Organization in this deck. But it's also about achievement, getting things sorted out. This is learning something new as well. Um, this could also be travel, um, but it seems like you're getting getting your act together again. And, uh, you know, you're, it's, a, it's a card, the Sun card usually is a focus on work. Um, it's a focus on, um, you know, achievement. Um, and uh, something brand new coming in and whatever you're doing although you have to work so hard uh, with organization you will be very successful so those are the energies uh, that are running through the read so what's happening with you you've got the queen of wands over here and the satiety card so um, you're taking back your power whatever it is you might be dealing with a fire sign person over here uh, which could be aries leo or sagittarius um, and you know you might um, be encountering them or this could be you just taking on that fire energy as well especially since you've got the sun card over here so this could well be the energy that you're taking you're becoming a bit more dynamic uh, you know maybe uh, opening up a bit more not being so isolated and showing people that you have a lot of power and authority in your hand this is uh, you know satiety is about 
nine of cups uh, nine of cups is usually about achievement uh but this could also be that you're working so hard that you're completely flat out uh you know uh, for uh this is your addiction of virgo work seems to be the addiction of virgos and maybe you're working too hard and this is um tiring you out as well so in the past, you've got the Temperance card, and this is about getting your balance back again, finding your new path in life and moving forward on it. Um, and it's also about, you know, worrying a little bit too much about health issues as well. You can see this person's got a new goal, a new focus. So you might have started a brand new job, and this is where all your energy is. So, you know, you've been focusing so much on it. Maybe, um, you know, it's brought about a little bit of imbalance um so and that has affected your health so you need to get that health balance back again uh and move forward you've got the fool so something brand new has come in, in the last few months you've taken that leap of faith you are doing something very different than what you have been doing uh so you know you've changed direction and you seem to be very very focused on it you're taking on this energy of the queen of wands taking that authority but you're overworking as well so the Ace of Swords, you're definitely speaking your mind. Uh, you know, you have, um, you know, you've taken control of the situation. You're not shy anymore and you are, you know, you're done with crying about any kind of difficult situation. It seems like you are moving forward with that um, Ace of Swords. Or oh, that's what's in your mind, really. Speaking your mind, moving away from the uh, difficult situation. And, uh, you know, this is how you plan on conquering whatever problems you had. And things are starting to move forward for you. You've got the Velocity card of year, Eight of... Um, a wands and wands is a fire energy so you you've definitely taken on a new kind of stance a new energy mercury uh in sagittarius means that your mind you know it might be something some kind of higher education you could be doing this could be travel uh so you are either communicating with a lot of people on an international front or you are actually physically traveling uh and meeting a lot of people there's a lot of communication going on with the broader uh you know the, you know the um the broader picture if i if you if i could say that sagittarius uh, rules the the world and mercury is about communication with the world so you're definitely moving forward and pretty quickly as well um you've got the star so some kind of revelation has come in for you so you've had a mind change a uh, mindset change rather and uh, you know uh, something has brought in a whole new perspective for you uh, some big change and this has changed your any energy from being you know somebody uh, a virgo like i said it tends to be a loner but it seems like you know you want to communicate now with the rest of the world you want to put your message out there you want success uh, you want to travel so you've got the four of swords over here around you people see that you are getting over any kind of difficult situation there was a heartbreak that happened and you are now getting your balance back with jupiter back in um uh, libra over here so you're finding your balance you are sorting things out and you are recovering recovering recuperation is recovering from any difficult problems that you may have had there seems to be somebody also there that's uh, aiding you helping you giving you their advice um, so what you want, you want to get away from any kind of, um, this is the ambivalence card, Seven of Swords. So if there was any kind of difficult uh, person that you were dealing with, lies, deceit, deception, uh, theft, you know, that kind of situation, um, whatever happened, uh, you are trying to move away from that situation. So you, you are physically moving away from any kind of um, problems that you had uh, that was not serving you or people that were not serving you, you want to move away from it. So going into the future, uh, you've got the uh, Wheel of Fortune coming in over here. So big changes coming in over here. These are events that you usually don't control. They um, are things that happen to you. Now the Tower comes in. Uh, this is leaving old situations that held you hostage. You can see this man sitting over here with a um, rope around his ankle uh, tied to this pole over here. So leaving away those you know, a nasty situation and walking away from it. So some kind of big change with the t uh, Wheel of Fortune and the Tower, there's definitely some kind of big event that is going to come that's going to shift you out of being stuck in a particular situation. You can see that uh, a person is walking away from all the drama and moving away on his own path and his own journey. So this is where you are at at the moment. Maybe you are feeling tied, uh, you know, and feeling... Um, um, almost like a prisoner in that situation but the wheel of fortune is coming to shift that energy you can see there's the butterfly there there's transformation coming over here there's something that involves a lot of communication and it's happy communication you've got the rainbow over here so something that's going to bring in a big change big transformation 
uh, that's not in your control because these are two major arcana cards. Uh, so something that's going to bring big shifts of energy and put you in a state of being the queen of pentacles. So it's going to give you financial success. Whatever comes in, even though it's going to seem rather dramatic, is going to give you that energy, authority, uh, and it's going to allow you to take control of that situation. So you're going to be pretty much in charge uh, of everything and you're going to have that financial success as well some big event coming brought in by the tower brought in by the wheel of fortune it doesn't look like it's an unfavorable tower it looks like it's all if i could say that the tower being positive yes it is it looks like it's a positive tower but a big change a big revelation a big uh you know a big change a big shift in energy even your the card that is surrounding you is a revelation card it's the star it's going to give you new hope new direction and definitely give you a lot of financial success and a success in where whatever you're doing um, as far as your work life goes. So you're going through a big change at the moment, uh, a big, almost a shift in energy uh, from being, um, you know, withdrawn to somebody that's now going to be communicating on a, on a broader front, communicating with a lot of people as well. So things are definitely moving on. And especially with this Velocity card, the Eight of Wands, things are definitely moving on for you. So you've got the two of summer, which says, um, it says you are falling in love or experiencing a deepening of emotion in your current relationship. Marriage or romantic partnerships in distress can still be saved. Don't give up. So there could be a partner coming in for you that brings in the shift of energy and brings in this uh, change or the way you start handling things or the way you are approaching things. So this could be a well. Uh, this could be an, a new relationship that's bringing in this change, and then you've got the Eight of Autumn, which says it's a perfect time to learn all you can by returning to school, taking up a seminar, or conducting some research. Uh, do your best work, and the law of attraction will bring you prosperity and career advancement. So you will have to still do some research. Uh, you know, make sure that you are you know keeping in touch with all your skills or updating skills if you need to, and everything will start coming your way. The Eight of uh, Autumn is um, you know getting freed from a difficult situation see the cage door is opening but using your education or your skills or new skill sets to get you into a position uh, that you need to be in and it looks like something is coming in for you to you know the eight of wands is also about information coming in uh, because it's ruled by mercury and sagittarius so higher information so you know some something coming in some revelation some kind of information coming in that's going to shift you into something better then you've got the ace of spring a wonderful new opportunity presents itself it may come as a surprise but you will still want to leap into action and passionately pursue every possibility so you've got this uh, brand uh, new cycle coming a new moon coming over there and this is a new opportunity coming in and you need to grab it with both hands so don't be reluctant to start something brand new you've got the sun over here so great success coming in but you can see this person studying still so you will have to do some studying some some learning, some kind of skill set improvement in order for you to move forward. But you're definitely going to be moving forward and moving away from any kind of heartbreak situation. Uh, like I said, there could be some kind of relationship happening there where this person is helping you get over that and spurring you on, making you change that energy set of yours. So I hope that this reading has resonated with you. Please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, leave me some comments if it has. Thank you so much for watching. Take care now. Goodbye.